What up, people? Uh, it's Jason here from Custom Cans, and uh, oh man, I I dropped this. I dropped it. Uh, so this is a Black Magic design camera. I picked it up cheap off eBay, like 300 quid, which was a pretty good deal. Uh, the battery was knackered, so it only lasted like five minutes on the battery, but it was enough time to kind of move it around and plug things and unplug things. And then um, the other day, I was filming something, and I tripped over the tripod, and just saw this thing in slow motion fall towards the floor and it made a hell of a crack when it hit the floor because this thing is heavy it's a it's a big chunk of metal um and yeah and it hit the floor and then it wouldn't turn on anymore and then <laughs> i'm like oh snap but uh i plugged it into the into the power and it still worked off the power but the battery is you know it was on the way out anyway but the fall has done it some some harm so i've picked up what i think is the correct battery off aliexpress and I'm going to try and open this and uh, we'll have a look inside and I'll change the battery and uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen one of these, it's a, it's a Blackmagic Design 2.5K, it's quite an old camera. Uh, what's cool is it shoots directly onto SSDs, so just, uh, just hard drives for computers and I've got loads of those knocking around. So I can just plug those straight in, it'll record on those, it records RAW or ProRes, like the colours. Oh bit depth so good um, you know for a 300 pound camera uh, admittedly I think I think these are normally around 500 used but uh, yeah I picked I just kept bidding on one till one came up at the price that I wanted but yeah this does look really good what so I've watched a couple of videos online I think from what I remember you have to pull the front off and then you can get it stuff underneath so I think this is just stuck on it's like a rubber cover let's see Oh, yeah, I'm seeing some holes underneath. Might be a good thing. Oh, oh has he got a recording? I didn't even know. I thought that was just a picture. Turns out you can press that to press record from the front. Ah. Well, there you go. I should have read the manual. Slightly cooler than I thought. Okay, so down there we've got torque screws of some kind. Bigger than that. Well, that was lucky. I've only got two torque screwdrivers to hand, and it was one of those. So it's a T10. T10 screw. Yeah, quite deep holes there, you see. You need quite a long T10 screwdriver. And you can't see down them, so you've got to kind of do it by touch. Or sense of smell. Okay, so far, so good. Four screws and they're T10, which is pretty chunky. Oh, I feel some movement at the back. Let's turn this over. Oh, look at that, it's held together. It's got like little spring washers on there to keep it all tight in there. It's another, you know, professional gear is just cool. It's just cool. I like it when people build stuff that's all like unnecessarily well made. <laughs> okay, oh, all right. Right, what am I looking at here? Right, so I've got some ribbon cables. Um, right, I'm just going to unplug the battery. There we go. That'll give me a bit more access. Right, so that's another ribbon cable released. And a third one. Alright, so there we go. We're inside now. I think this one comes off under the fan. We've got to the, the bit that we need, the battery. I'm not too sure that that battery is knackered. But uh, it's just weird that I dropped it and then it didn't work anymore. So I'm not 100% not certain how well this is going to go. So uh, if we have a look inside, you can see it's just like a really thick, chunky metal body, uh, which is why it's so heavy. There's not a huge amount inside. So that's where your SSD goes, just under there. You've got a fan, which is quite noisy, which is why you have to use an external mic with it usually. Oh, but anyway, let's just change the battery and see if that does its thing. So it's got a metal battery cover. 
As I said, the internal battery on these is basically just to keep you going while you swap between power sources and things like that. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of room inside. You could probably fit another battery in there if you uh, if you really wanted to run it off internal internal battery. Oh, there's another screw there. Oh, look at that! Big metal standoffs. This is a big chunky bit of metal as well. On everything, everything made of chunky metal. Good work, Black Magic. <laughs> it's heavy, but it's cool, and uh, it survived a really nasty fall. Uh, so that's good. Okay, so this is partially held on with sticky tape, and I can see this battery has expanded. It's blown up. So this was probably going to catch fire or explode at some point. <laughs> Look at that. You can see it's a bit, a bit swollen. Yeah, so I'll dispose of that carefully somewhere. Um, I've had a look at the battery in this box and it doesn't look exactly the same as that, but let's hope it fits. Okay, so this one that I've got here is an FP3800-90458C2S1P. It looks like it's got the same connector on it. It does look about the same size. It's probably the same kind of thing. Just this has got a bit of shrink tube over it. 3800 milliamps. Yeah, so it's the same same kind of thing. I, I'm tempted to open this up and see if it looks like that inside, which it probably does. It's probably just got some blue shrink over the top of it. It does look a little bit longer, but hey. Uh, okay. Clunk that on there. Yeah, I might just get some tape and stick that down like the original. So this is just some normal double-sided sticky tape. Stick it onto the original foam pads just to give it a bit of damping and support. Don't stick it. Down. Ooh, yeah, stuck it too high. Ooh. Now then, obviously, if you've spent thousands of pounds on your camera, um, it might be worth getting Black Magic to do this. But as I only spent like three hundred quid on it, and I know what I'm doing, it's not that. It's not that hard. Turns out. The the only thing that, that might catch you out if you're if you're doing this yourself is getting those ribbon cables off. If you're not used to removing ribbon cables, um, they've got a little these ones have got a little brown like a little door that you have to lift up to release them. So I would yeah don't just yank them out. Release them properly by uh, this smaller one. It's got two, you can see it's got a brown door and it's got two little tabs at the side that you raise up and that releases it. And this one's got a little door that opens up to release it. You'll, you'll you know, if you get in there, you'll see how it's done. Um, why does this not fit? What, what have I done wrong? That's it, that's my whoa, top tip there. Try and be observant when you're pulling stuff apart so you can remember which way it goes back together. Take pictures even better. Just take pictures of everything, just in case you sometimes get stuck. I'm uh, I'm terrible at just just getting straight in there and then uh, hoping for the best and going like, yeah, I remember where all this stuff goes. Don't you worry, I'm an expert. But yeah, often uh, I'll get stuck in a project and then suddenly it's several weeks later before I put something back together, and then I'm like, ah, oh, I have no idea where any of these screws go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, other thing I like to do to remind myself is put the put the screws back in the holes you took them out of. That's that's always a good good thing to do. Okay, so we've got a battery screwed onto a what's it? Now I have to get all these little ribbon cables and stuff plugged back in. Okay, don't want to get this too twisted. Okay. 
let's have a look. So first of all, I'm going to plug in the power for the battery, which is down there. The other ribbon cable goes there, and the third one goes there. This one, probably okay. This one, whoa, look at that. It's right in there, and you've got to have that shut at the same time. That's going to be fun to get in, isn't it? I'm going to probably... Um, yeah, plug the battery in first. Oh, there we go. Cool. Right. Okay, next I'm going to try and get the little ribbon cable in. So that's going to be the trickier one, I reckon. And by plugging it in before the other one, it gives me a bit more space to play with. Um, I can get some some little pliers or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you're buying little pliers, my top tip is get the ones that spring open. Much easier to use one-handed. Right, so that's that in there. Push down the little tabs. Not convinced by that one. And then this one. In there. What I'll do is I'll just put these ribbon cables back in, then we'll try it. We'll see if it turns on. Okay, so I put the ribbon cables in, I think. Fits on there. Oh my freaking god, look at that! It works! It turns on! It's fixed it! It's fixed my £300 Blackmagic design camera. Right, so there you go, just for the final what's it, let's put the screws back in. And this is a job well done. Just need a good charge now. Oh, that's cool. Not only have I fixed it, because I've replaced the battery, um, it's going to work better than it did before. And look at that battery, that was about to go. So I'm quite glad I got that out of there before it burst inside the camera. That's it scored. So it could be that this was about to go before it was already starting to explode and then the shock from the drop caused something internally to kind of short out, which could be why it suddenly stopped working on battery after I dropped it. But it's all it's all good. I was a bit worried that something when I, cause I thought maybe the battery had become unplugged. Because yeah when I opened it up and I saw the battery was still plugged in firmly I'm like ah there might be something actually broken in there. But no, that's really good. All right, let's see if this... Is there enough sticky for this to just stick back on? Yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> just press that firmly into place. You could put a bit more double-sided sticky tape in there, I suppose, if it didn't stick on nicely. But there we go. The Blackmagic design camera. Battery changed. Jobs are good and... Hello, it's, uh, it's me, Future Jason. And uh, look, it's worked. I'm actually filming on the actual camera. The operation was a success. We're filming on the battery right now with a nifty thrifty 50 Canon lens on there, 50 mil. It's a nice camera, it's a nice camera. Gotta admit it. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe, you know, do the normal stuff. I'm pulling other stuff apart, fixing it. Or just, just hang out, hang out, chill out, listen to a guy chat as he pulls things apart. All right, loving your work, bye.